When a person has a professional license is dealing with a criminal case, the fear is that they're going to lose their license and lose their job. Now, when you're working in a professional atmosphere, such as a doctor, a nurse, or a teacher, a lot of times they run constant background checks to make a determination of if there's some kind of new criminal charge or arrest that shows up on your rap sheet. Now, many times when you're working for a private employer, you don't have to disclose if you were arrested for or charged with a crime, but many professional boards do that check regularly for you. So it's usually best when you've been arrested for a crime to notify them that something has happened. Honesty in these types of situations, even if you're completely innocent of a crime, is very important and will help you in order to keep your license no matter what happens with your criminal case. However, it is important to also note that certain crimes are looked upon more severely, such as felony offenses and DUI offenses. If you have either of those types of cases, you not only can look at jail time, but you can also lose your job. Finding the right attorney to help you in your criminal case when you have a professional license is very important. You need to have an attorney that understands that you have a lot to lose if you get convicted of a crime. Many people who get convicted of crimes don't actually end up going to jail at all, they just have a criminal record. However, if you have a professional license, you stand to lose a lot more. So it's important to have an attorney that understands that and understands that if your case is to resolve based on a plea bargain, that they're able to work out a plea bargain that does not involve you possibly losing your license or dealing with an administrative hearing down the line where they can take your license away from you. In other circumstances, it's also important to note that some people with professional licenses cannot accept a plea bargain, no matter what the consequences are. Making sure you find an attorney that understands how much more you have to lose other than your freedom should be a very important factor to consider when you're hiring your attorney for your case. How can expungements affect you if you have a professional license? Most often when a person is convicted of a crime, they can receive an expungement when their probationary period is over. What this does is it takes the criminal charge off the record. It'll show it's now been dismissed. And whenever they apply to a job in the future, they can legally say no to the question of, have I ever been convicted of a crime? Now, if you have a professional license, you're held to a higher standard. So when you answer those same questions and you're applying for a job in the government or as a state employee or something with the licensing board, you have to disclose the fact that you were convicted of a crime, even if it was expunged. Not all licenses require you to disclose this information, but it's important to know which license you hold and how it can be affected by a criminal conviction and later an expungement. Though it is important to note that even if you have to disclose a case has been expunged, Having your case expunged shows that you've done literally everything in your possible power to get this charge off your record and to move past it. So legally speaking, you've done all you can. And most administrative boards do take that into consideration, although they can still see that you were convicted of a crime.